worst thing that could ever happen to you as a business owner is simply not getting paid by a customer who refuses. There's a lot of crazy customers out there and I'm going to share with you a few stories that I've had where I've come across customers who simply refuse to pay me. But first, if you're brand new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and also turn on those post notifications. That way every week you guys are notified every time that I upload a brand new video here on YouTube. Please consider to like this video. This is going to help boost into the YouTube algorithm and help reach more business owners so that way they can be aware of this as well. Lastly, if you've had any crazy customers, leave those down below so I can be aware and also anybody who's watching this video. And as always, it all starts with having customers. So if you simply do not have any customers, I've created a company called 813 Agency where I've helped scale over 50 pressure washing companies to over $10,000 per month. And if you want me to set up and handle all of your Facebook ads, Google ads, Google My Business, all the different social media platforms, all you have to do is hit that first link in the description or send me a text message at 843-888-2371 to book your free strategy call. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. I'm also doing a free giveaway, so stay tuned to that in the middle of this video. I'm actually giving away some free pressure washing equipment. So I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit, a few different stories of customers that I've had who simply refused to pay me and what I would have done if I could go back in the future to protect myself. First one is when I first started my business and I actually made a short about this, which is actually currently going viral right now. So definitely make sure you check that out. So I'll break it down. So I had a customer who hired me to pressure wash their driveway. I ended up recording it for some content. And after the job was completed, they said that it simply was not up to their standards and it looked not as good as what they have previously had it done. In the video, you can clearly see that the black went straight to brand new and there was no stripes, nothing like that. And I think it was just because there was like some stains, maybe like some oil, degreaser, and they just simply was thinking that that was going to be coming up and when you pressure wash a black driveway you simply cannot see these oil stains or anything underneath that mold and mildew that has built up so you really have to be aware and what i would do now is make sure that in the contract you make sure that you tell the customer what you're going to be cleaning so as today's video i want to tell you guys a little bit about a free giveaway from a company called tradey they're an amazing company they basically have partnered with me to give you guys some free pressure washing equipment via a giveaway. So I'll leave that link down below. All you have to do is enter. It's 100% completely free. What they do is they have an AI algorithm that will build you guys a free website. Also included in that is a CRM and then a job management as well as so that way you can collect invoices, send out payments, and it's all 100% completely free. So I recommend checking them out down below in the description. So like I said, the customer simply said, you know what, I'm going to refuse to pay you because it just doesn't look as good as what I thought it was going to look like. I offered to get some degreaser and do it again, but they said get off my property before we call the cops. As a new business owner at the time, I was very scared and I quickly packed all of my stuff and left the property. Now thinking back onto this instance that happened to me where I didn't get paid for almost a $300 job, here's a few things that if you come across this, I would look out for. First, like I did, I documented everything. So taking photos, then clarifying with the customer, doing a walk around exactly what you're gonna be cleaning up. So before you even start, tell them that, hey, if I clean your driveway, oil you know is not going to be part of this cleaning process unless that's like a separate add-on service that you guys want to do where you go out buy degreaser and have to hand scrub that even that's simply not going to come up a hundred percent and typically when customers call me um, i never hear back from them when they're just looking for the oil stains because i always tell them it's not going to be completely removed because i had initial you know instances like this because going out there they could typically you know not pay me some other things to look out for is you know make sure that you do not damage somebody's house because that could also run the risk of you not getting paid for the job let's say the customer is not aware of what oxidation is so you always want to do a small test if you're using even a j-rod on some oxidized vinyl this could leave a lot of stripes there is a separate oxidation removal but this is an upcharge and you need to let your customers know about that because if they see that you have removed some of the oxidation, then that might look bad on you and you could end up, you know, getting, you know, they might want you to pay for extra services to clean that. Another thing to look out for is when you're cleaning gutters on the exterior, they can sometimes have tiger stripes. So even though you remove the mold and mildew, they still have black streaks. 
This is an extra service called gutter brightening and it could typically result in you not getting paid because the customer looks at it and says you didn't clean this up properly. So that's another thing that you want to clarify with your customers is when you're cleaning the exterior of the gutters that will not be included. And lastly, wood cleaning, you always want to use soft washing, never use high pressure as a surface cleaner because this could typically damage the wood like a fence or a back deck. Now, if you made it this far into the video, leave a comment down below giveaway. That way I know that you guys watch the entire video and I can like your comment. Also, please make sure to like this video and subscribe for more amazing content. Thanks for watching.